Well, Bennett High School's football team fell one game short of playing for another state championship. They lost in the state semifinals in a game that's compelling the team's coach to speak out. And two on your sides, Claudine Ewing sat down with him and a Buffalo Schools official to talk more about their concerns. The Bennett Tigers lost the Class AA state semifinals game over the weekend to Christian Brothers Academy of Syracuse. They won't repeat as state champions. The game was filled with penalties and now concerns about officiating. Here's why. Just before halftime, a flag thrown, a Bennett player hit with unsportsmanlike conduct. The game stopped. As their opponent's coaches huddled with players, Bennett did the same thing. The flag occurred. Our team was penalized for a sideline infraction. Their team did not receive a warning or a penalty at that point. So that led to us protesting the fact that in, under this game app, you know, application that you're penalizing one team for the infraction. A Bennett assistant coach was flagged for going on the field. Buffalo's assistant superintendent of athletics, Mike House, flagged on the sideline. The head coach went on the field to ask the refs why. In the end, House was ejected, but then this. All of a sudden, the officials run off the field and two deputy sheriffs come over um, and they beeline straight for Coach McDuffie. Coach McDuffie has now filed a complaint with Onondaga County Sheriff's Department for assault. I didn't do anything. I'm just at a loss for words. No sign of any Section 6 officials. What was more upsetting is what Bennett saw as unfair officiating. I think that officials should be held to the same standards that a lot of people are held to in professions that control safety. Buffalo schools recommend accountability for officials, formal appeal process, additional diversity training for officials, and a neutral site for playoffs. Why couldn't the teams rotate Syracuse, Rochester, Buffalo? As for the players. Sometimes in life, you know, you got to learn valuable lessons even when things don't go your way and it's how you respond to it to make you a better human being. My full interviews with the AD and coach are on WGRZ.com. On your side in Buffalo, Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.